The state of the mining industry survey of 2015 doesn't make for good reading. The majority of the country's minerals have seen reduction in both output and revenue. Chrome production was nearly halved, dropping from 408 to 211 tons. Coal shrunk by 34%, while nickel shed 3%. Platinum and gold were the only major minerals in positive territory. Platinum production remaining flat, gaining just 1% while gold was the star performer, with deliveries surging from 15,386 kilograms to 20,000. Diamonds, once tipped as the boon for the economy, continued to decline, with production slipping by a third. Corresponding with the declines in volumes was a drop in revenue by 7%, from $1.9 billion in 2014 to below $1.8 billion in 2015. The survey might outline that 30% uh, of the respondents as measuring the level of profit in the mining sector were profitable with 70% having recorded losses. Where mining companies would have negated the depressed prices by upping volumes, they've been unable to because of a shortage of capital to expand production, high labor costs, irregular and highly priced power, and anxiety over tax and indigenization policies. It's left industry capacity utilization at 60% and local miners in survival mode. They showed that only a number of areas, they've done a lot to reduce costs because they can't control the price. They've engaged suppliers. They are doing labor rationalization, restructuring, outsourcing a number of initiatives that just make them they remain relevant. The sector requires a $3.8 billion capital injection to restore production capacity to peak levels. The bulk of that envelope, more than $2.8 billion, is required in the platinum industry, which is under government orders to build a refinery. The resurgent gold sector requires some $600 million to propel output to 35 tons over the next four years. But the survey noted optimism that the sector can bounce back. Despite the challenges facing our industry, there is still strong argument that uh, in a few months to come, maybe uh, mid-year, uh, we may see prices recovering uh, for a few commodities. In the next year or two, we can see massive uh, growth. 30% of players surveyed say they expect to post a profit in 2016. Their performance could be bolstered by prices of gold and platinum, which are seen firming in the second half of 2016. Efforts by government to get consensus on empowerment and fiscal policies could also help unlock capital to expand production. Farangakutuya CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.